What's up YouTube? My name is Kenny J and this is Kenny J TV. As you can tell by the title of the video, this is about the first month of insurance or your first month in insurance and what to expect. A lot of people have reached out to me and asked, what do I need to expect my first month? whether it's captive or independent. And fortunately enough for me, I've had both. When I first got into insurance, I was with State Farm, so I was a captive agent and I got to experience that. And then I went out on my own and I was an independent agent with my own agency, Remedy Insurance and Wealth Builders LLC. So I'm gonna to touch on both sides, what to expect, what that first month looks like, it could be different for some people, but the basis of everybody's experience is pretty much the same. Know that it's going to be a lot of confusion. You're not gonna know a lot of things. You're gonna ask a lot of questions. Fortunately for me, my true first month in insurance, I had leadership, I had managers, I had an agency owner that was able to help me at State Farm and guide me along the way. One thing about me is I hate feeling like I don't know something. So when I was on the phone with a customer and I didn't know the answer, I would put them on hold and sometimes everybody was busy. So it made me feel bad that I couldn't assist that person and I had to wait for someone to be free. And I also didn't want to feel like a nuisance. So of course they're like, ask all the questions you can. That's what they're always gonna say. But in the back of my head, I was like, I just hope I'm not annoying them. I know they have stuff to do and now they have to step away from their desk and their calls to assist me. So it's gonna be a lot of confusion. What you learn on the test, a lot of that stuff is honestly not used in day-to-day -day life or day-to-day -day work as an insurance agent. So let's say you got a perfect score on your insurance exam. Don't get into you know the state form of your own agency or whoever you're working for and think, I know everything because it's so much to learn. My old agency owner, she was in the game for 20 years when I met her and she says, even to this day, I learn something new every day. So insurance is a very broad industry, broad career, and you're never going to know everything about insurance. So be able to soak up and listen. And even if you think you know something, just act like you don't. You know, if your manager or your leadership is telling you something, just listen because at the end of the day, they've been in this longer than you have been in this or even thought about being in insurance. So what they're telling you is things that they have learned from their mistakes and they're trying to help you not make those same mistakes so you can progress faster and further in your career than they have at this point. I also made a trillion, billion, gazillion phone calls. My first month, it was like just phone calls, phone calls, phone calls, and I didn't really understand what I was doing, and my old agency owner told me, hey, like you're making these calls to fill your pipeline. You wanna be able to have those incoming calls, but it's gonna take time. So I was constantly calling out, trying to earn new business. So in the first month, I got like zero calls back. I'm like, yo, is this what insurance is? It's just a whole bunch of cold calls. These people don't wanna talk to me. They never answer, and when they do answer, they're like, what do you want? You know, and I was getting kind of discouraged, but then, you know, sure enough, after the first month, I started getting calls in. People were requesting to speak with me and then that made everything worth it within that first month. So if your agency owner or your boss has you making a ton of calls, don't get discouraged. It's normal just to try to build your pipeline up. So when you are in that third, fourth, and fifth month, you have those incoming calls and requests to bind new business with you. Along with a lot of confusion your first month, you have a lot of soul searching, if you will, to do. A lot of insurance agents specialize in certain things and a lot of insurance agents generalize in everything. So some agencies you go to, you may see a commercial specialist or you may see a life insurance specialist or you may see a personal PNC line specialist. So you wanna figure out, do you want to specialize in something specifically or do you want to be a generalized agent and you have a broad scope 
on everything, but you're not specializing in one thing in specific. The cool thing about specializing in, in certain things is you're able to go out to these different networking groups and be like, let's say, the commercial specialist for that group, and you're able to write commercial deals. I mean, you can do that if you're generalized, but if you do specialize in a certain line of insurance, you're way more informed than a generalized agent. Another key thing that is important to do your first month no matter what is marketing yourself you want to come out of the gate marketing you want to have serious marketing content you can make it for free you can research what marketing techniques work for other agents that are successful in the industry but you want to market how do you expect people to reach out to you or want to buy insurance from you if they don't know you sell insurance a lot of times i see insurance agents not do so well is because they're not marketing they're not on their social media and a lot of times it does come from older ages but you have to evolve with the time and if you're like me and you're young and you're tech savvy and you're already on social media use that to your advantage execute and capitalize because i promise it will work for you i've gotten leads from instagram facebook twitter of course my youtube so different streams of inbound requests are key because you don't always want to chase after customers clients prospects day in and day out you want to be able to have those inbound requests come to you because a lot of times once you start to get busy and you're helping clients you find yourself doing a lot of administrative side of insurance whether that's fixing policies or making changes to policies meeting with clients so you may not have that time to constantly reach out so if you have those inbound requests and you're constantly marketing that will definitely help you in your sales so on the independent side, if you are starting your own agency, you have to work on getting those appointments your first month. Whether it's with Progressive or it's with any other company out there, you have to work on getting your appointments. It's always, it's not always easy to get appointments with different companies. You have to show them goals and your business plan, but you want to make sure that you secure those appointments because if you open up day one and you have no carriers, how do you expect to write insurance? So you have to get those appointments and once you do, your first month honestly is about meeting with the different sales reps and you're getting training on all the products and their systems. So I would say roughly for me, the first two weeks was definitely just training, training, training. I wrote just a few policies my first two weeks because I was in trainings and meetings all day just so I knew how to use the system and I knew how to find my resources. So if I needed help with something, I knew who to reach out to. One thing that agents do their first month as well is the anti-money laundering training. It was definitely not a very fun training, but it's definitely essential for your career and even independent or captive side, both sides, I had to show proof that I did that training within the day and all of that. So both sides, you have to take the training. It's not hard, it's not long, but it's a training and I don't like sitting still for a long amount of time. So that wasn't my favorite part of the insurance training that I had to do. Your first month of insurance can definitely be overwhelming. Don't stress yourself out because it is a learning experience. We all were there, we all struggled, we all had questions, we all were in a state of confusion, but I promise you it gets better if you do your research, if you're consistent and you listen to your leadership. That is key. And once you figure it out and you start to get your flow, you'll start to see the benefits, you'll start to see the money flow, and once you see that, you don't turn back. So you got it, keep pushing. You did the hardest part of getting into insurance, which is passing your state exam. If you haven't taken your state exam yet, definitely check out that video. It gives you some tools and tricks on how to pass the state exam and how to not make the same mistakes that I made. Thank you so much for tuning in to Kenny J TV. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And hit that bell for my latest notifications. If you want to reach out to me personally, you can book a call. The link is in the description box below. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram where I show tips and tricks on how to be a successful insurance agent as well as a day in the life of an insurance agent. If you have any content that you would like to see insurance based, make sure to put it in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to execute that and show you guys that content. Again, my name is Kenny J, the insurance guru, and this is Kenny JTV.